the exploratory stage of research is your opportunity to get a big picture sense of the topic you're interested in and to find unexpected facets of that topic to learn more about and maybe to write about. Given all that, reading at this stage looks a little bit different from what we may normally think of as quote unquote reading. It's a bit deeper than skimming. It's not quite as immersive as deep reading. And it involves going on a lot of tangents to discover other sources and terms you might not be familiar with. There's no exact formula to follow, but there are a few useful approaches you can take, and that's what we'll discuss in this video. To start, let's assume for the moment you have a source in some way related to your topic or question. It may be a reading from a class that you want to investigate further and expand on, an article that you found in some initial searching, or an encyclopedia entry of the kind you might find on Credo Reference or Wikipedia. Starting with the article example, let's say you found this article on selfies and race and gender, and you're wanting to get a sense of what the scholarly conversation is on this topic. Maybe there are schools of thought and various agreements and disagreements about what people think, and you want to weigh in with your own take. Rather than starting by reading this article in detail, it's often better to just start with the first couple of pages. This will give you a sense of what the authors are arguing, the key terms and concepts they're drawing on, and the key works and scholars they're responding to. Because this is the exploratory stage, by definition, you want to allow yourself to go down rabbit holes. Let's say you run across a term you want to know more about. Here, we see the authors use the terms presumption and conspicuous presumption. While they do define these terms, you may want to explore them further. You could do this by using another database to search for the terms themselves, or you could take a look at the bibliography for clues about useful sources. Let's take the first approach. If we plug presumption into Google, we see that a few hits come up that can be helpful to us. If we take a look at the entry on Wikipedia for prosumer, we see a short article that gives us a bit of background, and more importantly, a series of references that will include key sources that you may want to follow up on. Returning to our original article, you'll see that citations provide you with other routes to explore. When you see an idea or quote that intrigues you and see it's coming from another source, hop to the bibliography at the end of the article and see if you can find the full citation for that source. You can then search for the source by entering its title into the one of the library databases. In this case, I'm searching WorldCat Discovery, our database of databases, which appears on the library's homepage. WorldCat Discovery searches around a third of the databases that we have available, and thus is a great place to start your search. In this case, we can see that we have the full text of this article through WorldCat Discovery, and we can then, by clicking on the view full text, go to another database, which allows us to download this article. You may need to search other databases if the article is not available through WorldCat Discovery, or if it's not in the library's collection at all, you may need to put it in interlibrary loan request. At this point, you may end up returning to the article you started with, or you may find that you're more interested in a source that you've just discovered. Because this is the exploratory stage, you should feel free to follow what intrigues you most, even if it feels like a less disciplined way of reading. If you move to this new article you've discovered, then you can repeat the process you've just gone through to continue your exploration. This is one more reason why it's important to start your research early. You give yourself enough time to explore and have your focus change now so that you can be more focused and systematic with your sources later in your research and in your writing process.